Well, greetings and salutations, everybody. Welcome back once again, and for the very first time, to the Thoughts and Crep Show, where today, as per usual, it's your host, Danjo, here with part five of Pokemon Emerald Randomized Nuzlocke. Hope you guys are all doing well. And on this episode, we are going to continue exploring Rustboro, I believe is the name of this town. Because I don't think I finished looking around, or did I? Copycat girl, she's missing a polka doll or something, I think. There's Devin version, which I can't do the thing there yet. And I think I already caught something over here. 16. Uh, Anorith, right? Mm hmm. That's what we got. Mm, Buggles, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, let's get a rain dish. Not really any moves. Just scratch. Hmm. Up north, I can't catch anything there. Already, this is the school? Right. Already got the uh, quick claw. I got one to do a trade. Did I check here or something? Yeah, they're talking about nicknames. Um, do we need items? The incense, I forgot I got that. Um, right, he doesn't have a water gun yet. Uh, it's fine. He'll, he'll get it, he'll get it. I kind of want to check the gym. Do I have anything in the box? We just... I don't think so, because I think I just got a full team. Right? Yeah, boxes are empty. Currently empty. It's all good. Um, so it looks like the town is pretty well explored, actually. Did I check this building? Yeah, 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 I checked in there. All right, um, I did say I was gonna go back to 104, which I think I already caught something in 104. Yeah, that was Roselia. Okay, because uh, I skipped these trainers the first time. I did say I wanted Crackle Snap. Oh, because Crackle Snap gets uh, friendship stuff by being up front. Ryu has what? Oh, the silver powder, right. Um. Alright. Is he berries? Oh, yeah. Chester Berry, thank you. Mm hmm. Yep, 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 yep. Why keep it a secret? I'm the water Pokemon expert, huh? You don't know me? You've never heard of the water Pokemon expert? I'm Misty, yeah. Don't recognize me? <laughs> Alright, Zubat level 5, Zubat, what? Oh, I think this is the guy in this gen that typically would have 3 Magikarp? If I remember right. Oh, right. I found the experience share. Yeah, I totally forgot about that. Hoppip probably won't have anything. Electricity would be neutral. 
up with this grass and flying, I believe, right off the bat. I don't think he'll have any grass type moves, but I could be wrong on that. Hmm, he's level 6. Hmm. Ugh. I thought that'd be a lot better. Alright. Let's see what he's got. Damn it. Stop. Alright, I'm just gonna I'm just gonna paralyze and then switch to somebody that can actually deal with this guy. Ricky has Poison Sting. That'd be super effective. It's not stab, but like Zerpy is <laughs> Oh yeah, Zerpy got extra sensory. It's been a little bit since I've recorded this uh series, but Yeah, Zerpy's uh pretty friggin' incredible now. Oh yeah. Splash on oh I've never understood that. Like, why does Hopip have Splash? It's not a fish. You know? And another Zubat. Okay. Yeah, Nippy, you can take this one. I mean, none of these Pokemon are really, like, good experience yield, but... Might want to use Leer? Nah, I'll just do. It. Oh, hey, great. Whoa. Okay, cool. Venice, Venice. Level 11 Nipper. Nice. I thought it wasn't too bad. If I might say so, but I guess not. Blech. Is he saying blech? Or did he just like vomit? can't use cut yet. I need the gym badge. The gym bee. I need Jobimbo. Yo, yo Jimbo is what I meant. It didn't come out right. My bad. Alright. I've already caught something here, but I just wanted to get the items. Holy shit, that would have been cool. Matiana. Fuck, he's got pretty high attack, huh? Who else would I... I mean... Here's the thing. Matiana would have been cool. He's a physical attacker, though, and he's a dark type. And dark is special in this game, so... Yeah. Mm, sorry, that's not going to be a physical attack until Gen 4. Carbos, okay. That's pretty good. Um, I could give that to Pichu. To make Pichu a little bit happier. Fuck. It's not an item? Floor Restore, okay. I'm going to hold on to that for quite some time. Not an item either? What? Huh. Okay. Another Mighty Anna, wow. This actually might be a good spot to grind. I mean, the experience yield was pretty good, right? 36? Yeah. Pretty decent. Not great. The thing is, I don't really want to grind. Speed stat. Yeah, I mean, that'd be pretty good. 
regardless. It's just like... Giving your Pokemon vitamins and the like increases their like friendship. And I'd really like Pichu to evolve and do a Pikachu sometime soonish. That'd be quite nice. Got four Pokeballs. Yeah, I'll take like three. Two more potions, yep. Yeah. It's just, uh, I just ran out of, uh, things to do. Honestly, and I don't want to, I don't. is like kind of frowned upon I don't have to go in the gym yet mm. here's the thing Good. Pretty good. Wait a minute. Oh, I was thinking this is Whitney. Whitney's uh, Gen 2. Why was I thinking this is Whitney? Because this. Kind of reminds me of Goldenrod, I guess. Yeah, I'm just gonna find out what type this is. Kind of get an idea as to, like, who I need to make a little beefier. Oh, it's fire. It's gotta be fire. Okay. Yeah, he's level 10. Alright, I'm just gonna Thunder Wave. Holy shit, that was way more scary than I thought it would be. Nippy would be a good choice here. Or Buggles, but Buggles would be neutral since he's rock and bug. So yeah, if I could get Nippy Water Gun, that would be great. Mm, that's not great. Shit, not burn. It's gonna lower my attack even further. And I don't have a burn heal. Cool. Fuck. Alright, I'm just gonna send in Zerpy and just extra sensory, just end him. Plus, Zerpy is like really high special D. So. Doesn't matter. 
I'll fix it later. Too good for me. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Fifteen minutes? What? I thought we were like twenty-five minutes. Wow. 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 Okay. All right. So I need to get Nippy Water Gun. Which means I'm going to need to get him, like, two more levels, I think. And I'm gonna take the... put the experience share on Nippy for now. Just cause, like... Even if he's not in... I want him to get that experience, you know? spell tag for now. Just, you know, get the items uh, distributed a little bit. Okay, so here's the thing. I'm gonna put Nibby out front because, uh, I mean, Zerpy is gonna be a good choice too. My Pokemon rule, check him out. All right, fine, but only because you said your Pokemon rule. And I need to uh, show you how you're not that cool, dude. Oh, he's got a clear body? Alpha. Oh no, it's not great. Uh, it's also not great. Fuck, this is getting kind of scary. good. Yeah, he's raised his shit two stages and lowered mine. Ricky, how is your defense? 19, 18. Quick call, like 10 cents. Ah, that's the thing, grass type. I have to throw in Zerpy. I really do. It just means he's gonna take a hit. I just don't really have a different choice right now. Because I can hope he doesn't attack. Oh, fuck. Mm. It's three stages. Okay. Mm -hmm. I have to put on a bandage. Yeah, sure. Mm hmm. My po. My po. My po. <laughs> my bug Pokemon are tough. Let's battle. Okay, sure. My po. Come here and check out my pua. Dottini. It's a Dottini. I'm going to leer. And then I'm going to scratch. Oh, damn it. That's pretty good. I mean, it's over half, so. I can't really complain too much about that. <sighs> yeah. Here I did the stat change on me, so. And I really want Crackle Sniff to get, like, friendship stuff because Pichu just has terrible stats. Terrible stats. Yeah, that's fine.
Yeah, it's about the same. I was gonna leer and then scratch twice, but either way, it's three turns, you know? Okay, not bad. No, I thought I had you. Well, guess what? You didn't. Potions are kind of expensive at this point in the game, and I don't want to waste one. I mean, were this later? In the game, like, hell yeah, it would just pop the potion, you know? I just don't have that many healing items. Can't really buy more. It's something way cooler <laughs> than fucking Anna Rep. Dude, a fire type would have been fire, honestly. <laughs> would have been lit. And Ponyta, dude, like. I know, the guy that runs the fan club is like a little bit too into Rapidash, but. Rapidash is really fucking cool, man. Is that water gun? Water gun. Dope. Gonna get Nippy a little bit stronger though. I study at school and I study on the way home too. I study like all the time cause like I'm gonna be a great trainer and I'm just gonna be the best. You are rock type I think. Rock and bug, I want to say. Mm-hmm. Water gun. I'm in shock. I lost. That, like, does not compute. Like, zero, one. Damn it. Mm, there's the piece of shit. I don't know. Um, I'm just being extra hard on Anorith, honestly. Like, I don't like Anorith or its evolution. Like, sure, it's better bug type than Ninjask, but. Is. I think it's still bug type when it evolves? I wanna say. I think so. Sounds about right. Venonat. Bug poison. Oh, you made it rain? Dude, let me show you what happens when it rains. Alright. Oh, you just ate water gun, you motherfucker. Motherfucker. Piece of shit. Not a fan. I could throw in Zerby, but he might have some bullshit like bug move. Mm, he's got like two pixels of HP. Come on, man. Nice. That's pretty good. I mean, a special attack is garbage. Which is really unfortunate because that's what he's going to be using to take out the gym. Uh, I think he evolves at 15 though? Maybe it's 16. But it's pretty soon. Fuck, it's still disabled. Gun. 
There we go. That's what I wanted. That's what I wanted to see. Because, um, yeah, for alligator is pretty early. For, like, a starter Pokemon, I think it's at 30. Whereas most starters, like, don't evolve to their final form until, like, 34, 36. I think even a couple at 38. But... Water Gun would be... Oh wait, he's not Steel-type yet, is he? Is he Rock and Ground? Is he Rock and Ground? Rock and that Ground type? Fuck. Alright. No, I think he is Rock and Steel. Pretty sure. Yeah, because Aeron... I used to really like him back when I was younger. They didn't really know very well, like, the type matchup things, and... I, I mean, I knew, like, the basic ones, but... I didn't really know about, like, the four times weakness stuff. Um... Or the physical special split. I'm just gonna scratch him till he dies, son of a bitch. Zerpy, I guess. Freaking dude throwing out dragons. Oh wait, does that mean... Like, like hikers are gonna be dragon hunter or dragon trainers? Because that would be annoying, because there are a lot of hikers on this game. What do we get? Repel? Damn it. Bleh. Bleh. New route? Rust turf tunnel? Yeah? This is a new spot. I can't do anything here yet, I don't think. Ricky's poison, which will resist, but not be very effective. I would throw Crackle Snap out to paralyze, but he doesn't have physical defense. Since he's a fully evolved Pokemon, he might have all kinds of crap. Feeling good about this. I'm just gonna look up what Machamp at level 7 would have. Because this is dangerous. Even at level 7, like, Machamp has a really high attack stat. Um, just for, like, base stats. 130? Yeah, that's kind of stupid high. Um, Gen 3 Machamp when Emerald would have Low Kick, Focus Energy, Leer, and Focus Energy again. Weird. So... 
his only attack would be low kick until level 13 where he gets karate chop. So that's not bad, considering low kick goes by Pokemon size. But he still has stupid high attacks, so I'm not going to throw in Pichu and be like, ah, oh, he'll be fine, he's tiny. No. I can do that. Yeah, plus he'll resist to that, so... Pikachu would not... or Pichu. And as much as I would love to inflict a status on this guy... Can't really do that right now. Yeah, I'm just gonna throw the great ball, fuck it. Catch, 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 yes! <clears throat> okay, that is fortunate. Okay. Um, Rust Turf. Tunnel? Is that the name of it? Something like that? A champ dog? Oh. That is a great, that is a great get. Superpower Pokemon. It is impossible to defend against punches and chops doled out by his four arms. <sighs> Tian Shinhan. Its fighting spirit flares up when it faces a tough opponent. Give a nickname to the captured Machamp. Yep. Actually, yeah, that's just what I'm gonna call him, Tien. Like, all one word? Tien Shinhan? Oh, it's not gonna fit. Alright, just Tien. That's fine. Mm-hmm. Listen, box one. I'm gonna immediately go get that guy. And if there are more Machamps in here, I'm just gonna throw out Zerpy and... Eat him for breakfast. Oh, please, dude, is he the common encounter in here? That'd be great. Oh, that'd be so cool. Get fucked. Mm-hmm. A2 per. That's that's good. A deep sea tooth. Wait, which one is deep sea tooth? Is that for evolving Clam Pearl, right? Into Huntail, I think? Dude, he's the, he's, he's the common. He's the Wismer. That's great. <laughs> That's really cool. This is like exactly what I needed. Like, something strong with a high experience yield that one of my Pokemon can just like ace super easily. Nippy is still getting experience with the share. I'm pretty sure he evolves at 16. Pretty positive. Because I am out of trainers. I fought everybody on the way here. I need to get Nippy evolved before the gym fight, probably. Because, like I said, nowadays he's a good water type, but he does not have a special attack. This might be the only thing you can encounter in this cave, which would be really sick, honestly. Hmm. 
Evolution? No? Is it level 17? This is strange. I thought for sure... Hell, I could even put Nibby out front. Get him, like, more than the usual, instead of half and half. Split it, like, two-thirds and a third. I have to look this up now. Uh, Totodile. Totodile evolves at 18? And then again at 30. That's so weird. Huh. What are we at? We're pretty much at time right now. Uh, well, that's not great. Three and forty one, that's pretty sick, but no, I'm just gonna let them split it half and half. Because I did... if, if Totodal runs into something like pretty formidable in that gem, I need him, I need Zerpy to be able to just take over, you know. Preferably one other Pokemon. But like, for now? I feel like between the two of them, they can take on this gym. Now, Anorith is Rock-type. Again, he's not gonna resist fire because he's part Bug-type, but... I think he gets a rock type move pretty early. So I mean it'd be Nooch. Be Nooch de Booch. Mmm a champ might even get a rock type move pretty soon too, I don't know. Not super positive on that. go in there when Nippy's at 17. The thing is, there might only be like one trainer before the gym leader in Rustboro, considering it is the first gym battle of the game. And like, Computer City, and like Brock's gym, and Red and Blue, and Fire Red and Leaf Green, like he only has one trainer. Like you're light years away from being Brock, blah blah, blah. like light years me measure distance, not time, and like, hmm, kinda, it's both. You know, it's 
the distance that light travels in a year. Hmm? And also... That's just not an accurate, uh, you know, representation of how far the trainer is from Brock. Because literally he's like five paces away. How about this? I'll get Zerpy to 14, then head over there. Hmm. I mean, there's a pretty big difference in experience from like level 7 to level 4 or 5. So like, if I could run into one that's like level 9, that'd be pretty great. Yeah, one more should do it. I'll probably put Nippy up front until I get back to Westboro. Maybe some of the random encounters, like maybe I'll run into a couple more Ponytas, that'd be great. So, I don't know, we'll see. We'll find out. 22, there we go. 14. Again, special attack is just skyrocketing, dude. Okay, Nippy's at 17. He's almost there. I forgot he's paralyzed and kind of hurt. take like three more battles to get Nippy evolved. So I'm just gonna do that. Cause honestly Totodile just is probably gonna have trouble in that first battle. That first the first gym leader. Probably gonna end up throwing out Zerpy anyway, honestly. Just because he's like statistically way better. <laughs> way better. Like he's got moves. He's got like a really high special attack stat. And uh, you know, psychic types. It's just really good. Probably need one more of these, to be real. Hmm. Okay, level seven. They should cement the level up, probably. It'd be pretty surprised if he doesn't evolve from this one. There it goes. Okay, so his special attack is at 18. I guess I'll see what it jumps to when he becomes... I wanted to say Crawdont, but that's not right. Um... Crocno? Crocno, yeah. Nice. Okay, Nippy. Blaze! Damn it. 
Okay, 24. Still not great. Pretty good, though. Like, not bad. Um, gonna take the experience share from him and give him the sea incense. Probably gonna give the experience share to, I don't know, Crackle Snap. Probably. Or no, because I'm gonna go get, um... Um, a champ. From the box. Yeah. So, yeah, yeah, yeah. So we'll, we'll, we'll do that on the next one. Um, but yeah, thank you guys for being here. Greatly appreciate it. I hope you guys enjoyed part five. And, of course, before we get going, it is time, once again, for the Poke Fact of the Day. And today's Poke Fact of the Day is about Lotad, the Waterweed Pokemon. And, uh, honestly, a lot of the Pokedex entries for Lotad were pretty similar, so I just went with the one from this game because I feel like it was kind of worded a little bit better than some of the other ones. And uh, in Pokemon Emerald, Lotad's Pokedex entry reads, This Pokemon lives in ponds with clean water. It is known to ferry small Pokemon across ponds by carrying them on the broad leaf on its back. Which, honestly, is pretty cool. Um, kind of makes me wonder why they call him the water weed Pokemon when like that's more like a a lily pad kind of thing and, like that's to me would have made more sense calling him the lily pad Pokemon but anyway whatever but yeah thank you guys for being here and a very special thank you going out to the current farts and crap show members which at the time of recording is Naval Straconis and Heemscast Gaming and Heemscast Gaming is an excellent channel here on YouTube as well definitely go check that out but uh, if you guys want to support the show more directly, get in on those membership benefits and all that jazz, uh, check out the join button down below. Tiers start at three bucks a month, it's only 10 cents a day. Gets you into all the basic uh, perks, including getting to vote on series to get made here on this channel, especially for retro classics. Um, every retro classic series is chosen by channel members, so. Anyway, be sure, if, if that sounds interesting to you, be sure to check that out. But yeah, that's all for today, guys. Thank you so much for being here once again, and until next time, take care and have yourselves a beautiful day.